بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آر یو اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم یو آر ٹو دا انڈسٹریل فارمیسنگ کلاس ہیئر یو نو دس از دا تھرڈ ویک کا فرسٹ کلاس اینڈ ہم دس لیکچر وی ویل فوکس on the topic regarding the chapter dryer and to the title of the lecture is fluidized with dryer recalling from the previous uh, week lecture in which we studied the drying chapter the classification of various types of dryer on various basis and that topic we have discussed uh, the different classification one is as a based on the mechanism of the solid material handling either the material to be dried will be agitated or will lack the process of agitation on the basis of that mechanism the dryer are classified into the four main classes including the static bed dryer moving bed dryer pneumatic dryer as well as the fluidized bed dryer and we have discussed the uh, different uh, dryers along with the mechanism as well as uh, the example of the relevant class of the dryer and uh, one of that particular class of the dryer that is termed as fluidized dryer and today lecture we will try to learn about the fluidized dryer including the following topics regarding the fluidized dryer that is principle construction working advantages and disadvantages as well as the uses of fluidized bed dryer that is the main objective of today lecture dear students after the completion of this lecture you will be able to know about the following topics regarding the fluidized bed dryer including the principle of the fluidized bed dryer the construction and what is the material of construction and how the working of the fluidized bed dryer while we are processing any material and we want to dry using uh, it by the fluidized bed dryer as well as advantages and disadvantages and in the final part of the lecture we will discuss the uses of fluidized bed dryer dear students uh, let's start from the principle of the fluidized bed dryer the uh, principle behind the fluidized bed dryer and uh, which the material is dried and hot air is passed at high pressure to a perforated bottom of container the material is kept in uh, a container which uh, bottom is perforated in nature and the hot air blow is passed through uh, that perforated bottom having container Uh, that is a uh, hot air is passed through high pressures and the material that containing the granules in that particular container or the material to be dried is kept and that container having the perforated bottom and uh, material or granules to be dried are exposed to that uh, high pressurized air and uh, that high pressurized air is, uh, is introduce change to the perforated bottom container and the granules are left here from the bottom uh, that's i have told you that the bottom is perforated one having pores and uh, in this way the high pressurized hot air suspend a particle a granules and the stream of air that is a high pressure air this condition is called fluidized state in which the uh, particles or the granules are 
left it from the bottom and suspended in uh, this state, this state is from the fluidized state. The heart is surrounding every granule to completely dried them. Every granule is surrounded by the heart air, which is uh, a high pressurized air, so heart air, and introduced through the perforated bottom. And uh, this hot air or hot gas, there is a pressurized gas introduced into that perforated bottom container uh, that surround the granules and completely dry all the granules. Thus materials which are desirous to be dried are granules which are desirous to be dried are kept for the drying and that will dry the dryer. It is composed of a perforated bottom container that are uniformly dry by using uh, the application of the pressurized hot air. Construction of fluidized bed dryer. There are two types of fluidized bed dryer which are available. Either the first one that is vertical fluidized bed dryer or fluid bed dryer and uh, the second one is horizontal fluidized bed dryer. The dryer is made up of stainless steel or maybe a plastic composition. And remember that mostly stainless steel made of dryer are used in the pharmaceutical industry, but it may be have the uh, plastic material, a detachable ball that is placed at the bottom of the dryer, and the detachable ball containing the perforated bottom and uh, the material had to be used uh, to be dried are kept in that detachable ball and uh, this detachable ball is used for charging or loading and unloading or in other words charging and discharging of the material to be dried this detachable ball is used for this purpose the ball that I have told you in the previous slide the detachable plug is uh, ball is placed at the bottom of the dryer and used for recharging or discharging or in other words for the introducing the material or the discharging of material that ball has perforated bottom with a wire mesh RCU that support for placing material to be dried. A pen is mounted in the upper part of circulating hot air, which I have told you in the mechanism that hot air is passed at high pressure through a perforated bottom, that is a detachable ball or perforated bottom ball. And uh, a pen is also introduced in the upper part of the circulating hot air pressure inlet, free filter and uh, heat exchanger are connected serially to heat the air to the required temperature, to the desired temperature. So for this purpose, so fresh air inlet is uh, kept over there and free filters are installed and as well as the heat exchangers are connected in series in order to keep the temperature to the desired level and for this purpose uh, the air is heat up and the temperature of hot air and exact air are monitored internally and uh, it is set up to the required temperature level and back filters are also placed above the drawing ball in which the materials are kept for charging and discharging and the materials are kept for drying purpose and for the recovery of the uh, file Back filters are placed. And hence uh, back filters are placed above the drawing ball that is uh, termed a detachable ball for the recovery of fine particles. Look at uh, the diagram of the fluidized bed dryer. On the left side, you can see the block diagram. While on the 
white side are depicted so that's bit wire that's having on the white side if you can see that is one of the wheel having balls and that is a detachable ball and that is used for the keeping the material loading and unloading and on the left side you can see the block diagram that having the inlet for the free uh, and as well as the outlet hot air inlet and recirculation control over here the materials uh, after the loading uh, the inlet is opened and uh, air heater is also installed over there and this part as you can see and the uh, inlet that is the airflow from the upper side and this uh, area where air heaters are installed and after passing through that area uh, that is further circulated and the pattern shown in the figures on the left side that is the detachable ball this is the block diagram of the detachable ball where on the right side you can see this one this is the detachable ball having the wheel for the movement of the detachable ball and in this case uh, you can see that the die state and with the hard uh, pressurized air is passed through the perforated bottom and the material is in the suspended form and that is termed as fluid dice to a state of the fluid dice solid or granules and further you can see in the diagram that is the filter bags are mounted over uh, the, uh, above the detachable ball and that is for the recovery of fines as well as uh, similarly that is further you can see the pan and the uh, outlet or exhaust and the diagram that is uh, one of the block diagram of the fluidized bed dryer. Now in this part of the lecture we will discuss the working of fluidized bed dryer. The wet granules to be dried are placed, placed in the detachable ball that is used for charging and discharging of the material and after loading the materials or granules which are going to be dried are kept in that detachable ball and then the detachable ball is placed into the dryer or pushed toward into the dryer as you can see in this stage it is uh, pushed into the dryer fresh air is allowed to pass through a free filter here free filters are there and the fresh air has passed through this uh, area that uh, having the free filter which subsequently gets heated by passing through a heat exchanger the hot air flows through the bottom of the bowl you can see the hot air after passing through the heaters uh, and uh, that become hot that is uh, passes through the perforated ball which are at the bottom of the detachable ball the hot air flows through the bottom of the ball that uh, air, air velocity is gradually increased and when the velocity of the air is greater than settling velocity of the genus and that's uh, high pressure application of the hot air the velocity of the granules has more compared to the in the air is uh, velocity of the air is greater in this case the settling velocity will be less and the material will be in the suspended form the granules remain partially suspended and the gas stream or hot air a point of pressure is reached at which fractional break on the particle is equal to the force of gravity the gradual rise in the container that is a detachable ball because of high velocity of case of hot air and later fall back in a random boiling motion this condition is called fluidized state it is clear from the statement of the 
uh, flow dye state uh, that is shown in the diagram the flow dye is solid which have random motion the heart air of gas surrounds every granules which we have kept in the detachable bowl as responsible for the complete drying of the granule the air leaves the dryer by passing through back filters and then trend particles and that back filters remain adhered to the inside of the bags and uh, periodically uh, you can see the bags uh, and this, these are the bags to which the particles attach or stick are adhered periodically the bags are shaken to remove the entrained particles and by this way the materials are dried now we will discuss the advantages of the fluidized wet dryer. Fluidized wet dryer requires less time to complete drying process by keeping the material after loading that is uh, either the granules or wet granules and other ways uh, any type of materials which we are going to dry that takes uh, the time of 20 to 40 minutes compared to 24 hours of the tray dryer or tray dryer is one of the example of the static wet dryer and with the material to be dried is kept in the trays uh, loaded and then uh, it is kept in the dryer it is found at fair dryer and uh, about 24 hours at the time of processing of the complete drying have we kept it under trade dryer comparison to the fluidized dryer which take less time in order to dry the material that is 20 to 40 minutes so the required time for the complete drying and the fluidized dryer as less this is one of the advantage of the fluidized dryer different sizes with different drying capacity that is from 1 kg that is a small scale of robotic scale or the small scale of techniques development or material which are uh, in small quantities we use a uh, small scale capacity size dryer that is uh, from 1 kg uh, we use in the laboratory that is mostly in the R&D research and development and other laboratories for the purposes of the drying of the small quantity of the material and it ranges from the uh, 1 kg to 200 to 500 kg and remember that this amount is used on the large scale production of the material having up to this amount that is 200 to 500 kg material if you want to dry then we use uh, the capacity of this production range or large scale range of the dryer and uh, every time uh, taken for the drying of the, the material using for fluidized for dryer that is about 20 to 40 minutes handling a sample and uh, low level cost because we have to monitor and adjust uh, temperature and we have to load and unload the material that's why I say that the handling is very much simple and uh, low level cost and thermal efficiency is two to six times more compared to the tread dryer mixing efficiency is also high as compared to other type of dryer because in the static wood dryer in other dryer the material has uh, not highly and efficiently max because of the short drying time and excellent mixing action of the dryer hard parts are not absorbed in the dryer recalling from the topic of the solid material drying 
and the behavior of the solid material drawing in which we discuss and detail the different uh, phases of the dusting zone that is uh, one of the zone is initial adjustment period and the constant rate period as well as the falling rate period uh, in that particular topic we have discussed uh, hot spots if what are is meant, what is meant by hot spot and uh, which of the zone are uh, the part of the solid material drying process uh, involving the appearance of the hot spots and the fluidized bed dryer hot spots are not absorbed that is one of the extra advantage it also facilitates the drying of thermally biased substances because the contact time is short with the hot air it can be used for the bag type or continuous type and it has high output from a small floor space uh, compared to the spray dryer in which we discussed the uh, last space required for the equipment compared to that uh, fluidized bed dryer has high output and uh, the space required for that is small and the free movement, free movement of the individual particles eliminates the risk of soluble material migrating as may occur in the static bed dryer and with the material are in static condition and uh, free movement of individual particles is not there which eliminates the risk of soluble material that migrates uh, from one area to another area there are several disadvantages of the fluidized bed dryer that many organic powder develop electrostatic charge during the drying if you process the powder material in which are organic in nature uh, there is a risk of the development of electrostatic charge during the process of drying in this case we use organic uh, powders having material a mixture of air with a fine dust of organic materials such as starch and lactose can explode violently if ignited or sparking caused by static charges starch of the static charges development will explode the material uh, that is one of the example by uh, the mixture of air with a fine dust of organic material like uh, starch and lactose the danger has increased if the fluidized bed dryer materials uh, contains volatile solvents such as IPA that is uh, sublimated IPA for the isopropyl alcohol, also known as isopropanol. And this danger of violence of the explosion is increased if we use uh, volatile solvent or and the uh, particular batch like the IPA. To avoid uh, this problem of the explosion, efficient cutting half dryer is essential. That is one of the dangerous uh, or disadvantage of the fluidized bed dryer. Development of the electrostatic charges and explosion. My development of the static charges. And uh, the same danger is increased if. Uh, the fluidized material contains a volatile solvent like IPA. The second disadvantage is the turbulence of the fluidized state of granules may cause attrition of some material but damage to some granules and the production of too much dust due to the production of fine particles but using a suitable binding agent uh, this type of a problem that is uh, too much attrition which cause the damage of the uh, this problem will be solved if you use uh, an appropriate type of the binding agent or binder and uh, by using a appropriate uh, an appropriate binding agent or binder the fine production will be lessened as well as the damage of the renews will be minimized. Fine particles may become entrained 
and must be collected by wake factors and uh, for this purpose the shaking of the filters are done in order to avoid the blocking of the filter bags there are certain uses of the flotized wire it is popularly used for drying up granules over granules in the production of tablets if you want to dry the granules and further subject it for the compression in order to prepare the tablets and uh, it is used uh, the popular dryer one that is the flotage dryer that can be used in three operation like mixing if you want to mix material if you want to granulation and drying and for this purpose of these three operations can be made possible by using fluidized dryer and the dryer may be modified for coating of the granules if you want to coat the granules and then we will modify modify the fluidized dryer for coating purpose it is used so it is concluded from the discussion of the uses that the dryer is used for the granules the further subject is the production of tablets and it is also used for the three operations not only for the drying but also for the mixing and granulation purpose and as well as uh, this piece of equipment may be modified for coating of granules and the references for this lecture preparation you may consult the theory and factors of industrial pharmacy third edition pages consulted 58 to 60 and autumn pharmaceutics the science of doses from design second edition pages consulted 34 to 35 on the diagram that is a uh, fluidized red wire and uh, having the detachable ball as you can see on the wire side the detachable ball as that is uh, the material is loaded and unloaded and these are the bags which we formed that the filter bag are there you can see the interior that we have discussed different up and down movement of these bags you can see and the materials uh, it is loaded after loading the high pressure as a uh, introduce and this perforated bottom the material you can see in the fluidized state as a standard form and as you can see it and this diagram process of begin use of uh, powders a random boiling motion and uh, by this way the uh, material are void that we have discussed in the discussion of the mechanism let's recall the to the lecture that what we have focused and to the points regarding the fluid bed wire so far we have discussed the principle that's how it works the construction of fluidized bed wire the two types including the vertical fluidized bed wire and horizontal fluidized bed wire and the uh, composition material that is either stainless steel 
a plastic and detachable mold that is placed at the bottom of the wire and then we can charge and not charge using this plus placing up the detachable ball and we have perforated for bottom having container with a wire mesh support for placing material and uh, fresh air inlet and the fan mounting and upper part of the assembly free filter heat exchanger is Serially connected with the facial inlet as well. In order to monitor the required temperature, filter bags also flex above the wire wall. Our recovery of fines and a diagram and working of the fluidized wire that how it works and how the fluidized state are suspended of the venues occur by using the hot air velocity of gas stream and what is meant by fluidized state and the particles subquired using the hot air and then training of the particle and adhering of the particle to the bags a filter bag after that we have discussed the advantages of the fluidized bed dryer Disadvantage of the fluidized bed dryer and uh, uses of fluidized bed dryer and the different operations like for drying that is a primary role of the dryer and the drying of the granules for further production as with tablets and also for the purpose of the operations uh, that are three in number according mixing process, granulation process as well as the drawing process and further for modification of the dryer that can be used for the coating of the news and as well as the requirements consulted thank you all for your attention